Salam hari Ahad. Salam hari Ahad. Bismillah walhamdulillah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Saya Derek Fernando sekali lagi di sini bersama anda. Tetamu kita pada episod kali ini ialah saudara Mahmud Qasim dari Kanada. Beliau merupakan General Manager Al Kauthar Institute yang menawarkan kursus-kursus Islam antarabangsa berentas lima benua dan lebih daripada 30 negara di seluruh dunia. Alhamdulillah. Jadi jangan ke mana-mana. Kami akan kembali bersama saudara Mahmud selepas ini. Insya Allah. Salam hari Ahad. Assalamualaikum, Brother Mahmud. Waalaikumsalam. How are you doing? Alhamdulillah. Yourself? Very, alhamdulillah. Very happy to have you here. Glad to be here. Alhamdulillah. So, uh, Brother Mahmud, Alhamdulillah, next year Al Kauthar Institute will be celebrating its 10 year anniversary. Right? So, I'd like to congratulate you beforehand. Allah khair. And uh, can you please share with us what are the major achievements of Al Kauthar Institute since its uh, inception in 2006? All right, khair. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, alhamdulillah, we've. Uh, you know, by the blessing of Allah Azza wa Jal, been able to do a lot more than we expected in a very short period of time. I mean, if you look at it, 10 years is not that much. Uh, but we've expanded now to 14 countries, providing education, Islamic education, at a tertiary level to over 14 countries. And Alhamdulillah expanded to uh, 30 different cities. And that being done with the help of our mashayikh around the world, which we have now about 35 instructors that are qualified teaching with us. So in 10 years, we've been able to you know, expand going from far west all the way to the far east of the world, alhamdulillah. And with the 10 years that we've, uh, that we've had, uh, now we're inshallah trying to take it up another level in 2015 and beyond. So inshallah, more and more people will find out what we're doing soon, inshallah. Inshallah ta'ala. So now, like, like you said, um, uh, Al Kauthar started in the far west, as you called it in the UK and Australia and Canada right. and now you've expanded to Muslim countries so w how do you explain the growing success of Al Kauthar in the countries you're now with Malaysia, Qatar, and Bangladesh so on and so forth? Right, that's a very good question. We initially when we launched our objective was to provide tertiary level Islamic education to the English speaking language uh, predominantly the people in the West and uh, the more and more we started to do that uh, we started to notice a big demand and a request from a lot of the countries in, in the you know, non-English speaking countries. And over time, we experimented and we launched with one or two different cities around the world. And the, the success was great, alhamdulillah. So with that, we decided, you know what, let's go to more and more Muslim countries. The need is there for authentic Islamic knowledge. And now we find that uh, we are able to impact uh, the lives of a lot of people. Uh, being in Malaysia, Bangladesh, as you mentioned, Qatar, Indonesia and you know we're launching in more and more uh, Muslim countries uh, as you say. Inshallah Allah, may Allah make it easy. I mean. So Brother Mahmoud, um, I understand 2015 is a very exciting year for Al Kauthar. You've, you're launching some new uh, pioneering online products. So could you please share with us a bit more about what are the highlights for Al Kauthar Institute in 2015? Definitely, I'll share a few of them with you right. uh, and as more and more come on Inshallah people can always stay up to date with Al Kauthar on our sure. website. Uh, we've already launched this year uh, something called Bit by Bit, which is focusing on providing knowledge, and as the tagline says, knowledge made easy. Uh, we find that for a lot of uh, people seeking knowledge, online has become a great platform, and we have been trying to tap into that platform and provide it to the students at times that's convenient for them. So Bit by Bit, which is a platform that's going to focus on giving that knowledge in short episodes, uh, to the to the masses at their own convenience as they wish uh, on YouTube they can just go to our Al Kauthar channel and they can benefit from it so that's one of the initiatives the second thing is focusing on our existing student body uh, we find 10 years uh, has given us you know a large student base over 90,000 students around the world and we feel we have to give back to them so we've launched a Al Kauthar privilege pass which will give access to our Al Kauthar students around the world if they wish to travel be it that they're living in Canada and they want to attend a course in Australia, they can choose to do so. Uh, you know, at no cost to them, they just have to be a privileged past member and they can, you know, take advantage of that. Third thing that we're launching, inshallah, which will come out later in the year, uh, is uh, Al Kauthar wants to be known for providing knowledge at all avenues, not just like we're known at the moment 
on our weekend platform where you come into the courses and you get your education. Uh, we want to be on every platform, mobile, online, uh, in, in classroom settings. So inshallah, watch out for what's coming out. Inshallah, you'll find out shortly. Inshallah, Don't want to release all the things, you know, so you'll find we'll out We'll stay soon, tuned, inshallah. we'll stay tuned. Now, uh, there are many organizations that are catering to the growing demand for knowledge in the Ummah. Yeah. Right, so uh, what do you consider to be the competitive advantage of al Kawthar Institute? Yeah, so a good question. Uh, as you may know, uh, al Kawthar is a part of an organization known as Mercy Mission. And when Mercy Mission started, the objective was knowledge and action together. So al Kawthar was the arm, and it continues to be the arm that provides that Islamic knowledge. And what gives us that advantage is we have these programs like, you know, what Mercy Mission has, the Charity Rights, the National Zakat Foundations, New Muslim Care and others. They're able to get involved and take part in these programs. So we bring knowledge to them as well as avenues to stay part of action. And that is very, very critical for al Kawthar because from day one, that has been what made us successful, that we don't just give you the knowledge. We give you many avenues to get involved in action-based programs. MashaAllah, very interesting. Now we have to go for a quick break. So we'll be back shortly right after this. Assalamu alaikum. Because it's relevant and practical to my everyday life. We're all here for the same reason. Because I can relate to the teachers. Al Kofa suits me as it meets my learning needs. I can learn and implement straight away. Because I finished university last year and the course notes are very easy to follow. Because it's a single weekend course. Because I come with my wife, we learn together and we have a fantastic weekend. This is my brother in law. We come as individuals and leave as brothers. I get to see wonderful people from all around the world who are interested in learning the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And assalamu alaikum. Welcome back. Well, it's very exciting to uh, know more about what Al Kawthar has been doing. So, um, tell me, brother Mahmoud, you've been in Malaysia now for uh, for a few years. Yes, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, you've moved here. So, what can you tell us about your experience here in the country? And how have the Malaysians responded to the Al Kawthar Institute classes? Alhamdulillah, very, very interesting question. Uh, for me, it's actually been quite an amazing experience. Uh, moving to Malaysia was uh, a tough decision to make because most of my life I've lived in Canada. I grew up there, and, and it was a, it was a very tough decision to come here. But at the same time, coming here and seeing all the the people, the type of people they are, and how hospitable and kind they are, made that experience that much easier. Uh, for Al Kawthar itself, I, I find that it's being received very well because the type of education Al Kawthar is providing is not conflicting with what is being taught here and is just enhancing the experience of, uh, of the Malaysians. And you find more and more people wanting to learn knowledge from you know, authentic sources and the, the youth and the young minds are inquisitive and want to learn more. And they're very engaged in the English language as well, which I found a big surprise. So, Seeing that coming here, mashallah, was a very uh, uplifting experience for myself as well. And I find that uh, Al Kawthar is just just scratching the surface in this country. There's just so much to do here, subhanAllah. Mashallah, very interesting. Now, uh, we know that you have a strong passion for knowledge. And uh, apart from being in charge of uh, Al Kawthar, you're also a personal trainer, right? Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Personal trainer of not the, yeah, the physical type. <laughs> Uh, but the uh, of the mind, I guess you can call it. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Now, can you share with us what is your your ultimate vision through all of this? That's a tough question um, because for me, the reason why I got involved in Al Kawthar, if you can say six seven years back when I was a volunteer, was that I had a very strong belief in being part of something that will change my life as an individual and empower me to make a change in people's lives. And, and I feel for that to happen, you have to have a very strong fundamental grounding uh, yourself. And why I became involved in uh, professional development, uh, you can call it, is because uh, I find once I've taken that upon myself, uh, as we're taught in the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that uh, you know, convey from me even if it's one ayah. So I find that through the professional development atmosphere, I'm able to take the Islamic knowledge and also provide it to 
Muslim professionals and others out there who might be looking at it from a professional element, yet they're able to make that change in their lives through it. So for me, my vision, I guess my ultimate vision or whatever you want to call it, uh, fell quite in line with both of these things that I do. Because for me, it was about building pious and confident Muslims uh, who will be the elites in their class in whatever they do. So inshallah, uh, I hope Allah will put blessing in it and right. you know help all of us through it inshallah. Ameen, may Allah accept it. Ameen. Inshallah ta'ala. Now, apart from all of these, um, you were also one of the people who started New Muslim Care along with your brother Zubair. Is that right, correct? Right, <laughs> MashaAllah. So um, tell me, what motiv motivated you to start this and why do you think it's important to create a support system for new Muslims all around the world? Yeah, this is a very, again, you have a lot of good questions, MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah. Uh, with this, New Muslim Care, when we um, looked at the situation, because we were growing up in the West, we found that uh, with all the challenges that we went through in, in the West, uh, there was a lot of people embracing Islam. And the avenues to provide that support were not there, uh, because in the you know in North America, it's not like a in, in the East here where you have so many channels, so many Muslims and so on. We're a minority there, so we found that uh, the people embracing Islam were being given uh, you know they're given the education, but not an empowerment or a structure or support system. Mm -hmm. And uh, the more and more converts we met, my wife, Alhamdulillah, happens to be a convert to Islam as well. So the more and more you see uh, in terms of people who are embracing Islam, they weren't having that social structure, that friendship, you know, that they needed and so on. So New Muslim Care happened to be that avenue that could provide that. Knowledge is secondary in that sense. It's to provide that friendship, that support, so that they have someone to go to if they're confused about something. MashaAllah. I think it's, uh, sorry to cut you off, very essential because now you look at what's happening, uh, you know, around the world. Uh, you need to have these avenues for our converts to to get authentic, proper knowledge from the right sources and have those friends that they can turn to if they're confused. Because internet can be a blessing, but it can also be a, a confusion. So this is very important sort of uh, a program and I strongly believe in it. And I think, you know, the efforts you guys are taking are very important and needs to continue happening. Alhamdulillah. Inshallah. Dala. Right, right. I mean, a lot of us have been through that. A lot of us part of the team. Right. So thank you so much uh, for being here on the show with us, uh, Brother Mahmoud. Now before we wrap things up, mm -hmm. um, could you please share some uh, advice with uh, our viewers, uh, those who are trying to acquire maybe more knowledge about the Deen, uh, what would you advise? Definitely. Uh, brothers and sisters, my advice to you is uh, very simple and easy uh, to take it a step by step. Uh, one of the analogies that was given to me when I started to learn about the Deen of Islam was to take yourself as a sponge. And uh, any sponge that tries to soak up water, there's two ways it can be done. You either throw the sponge into a pool of water and it will try to absorb as much as it can, or you become that sponge and you take a you know, drop of water at a time and put it on that sponge so the most can be absorbed. So my advice is simple, learn about the Deen of Allah and learn about the Sunnah of Prophet but do it gradually. And try not to deep dive into it because that's where a lot of confusion arises and a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of disengagement can also occur. So my advice is simple: do it steady and slowly, inshallah. Jazakallah khair. Oh, yeah. Slow and steady wins the race. Definitely. Inshallah taala. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Jazakallah khair, brother Mahmoud. Jazakum inshallah. Khair. Until we meet again. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. Salam hari ahad. Salam. Hari Ahad Dan terima kasih sekali lagi kepada saudara Mahmud Kasim kerana sudi bersama kami dan semoga Allah SWT memberkati usaha beliau untuk menyebarkan ilmu Islam ke seluruh pelosok dunia Baiklah, sehinggalah kita berjumpa lagi Saya Derek Fernando Jazakumullah khairan dan Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh Salam the biggest block to earning paradise is when we worship anyone besides our Maker. To what I would like to achieve, and it's only the help of Allah, and it's the teachings of Rasulullah is the beauty of Islam to be seen by one and all, and for the, those who hate Islam to appreciate that it's not something to be hated. It's actually a heavenly religion. Hari Ahad Salam Hari Ahad Salam Hari Ahad
Salam hari Ahad Salam hari Ahad Salam hari Ahad Salam hari Ahad